Goose up here, and it's 2 a.m. and I can't sleep, so I guess it's time for a bit more Woodruff and the Schnibble. If you recall, last time we were taking photos and it didn't work out, so yeah. Um, I need to find a Bluckster nut to get into the temple. This merchant tells me that he sold his last Bluckster nut to some guy named Ernst Blinst. Ernst Blinst. Ernst Blinst. Okay. Looks like we need to find this Ernst Blinst character. And he just happens to be in one place I neglected to go earlier because I didn't need to go there. Almost as if I were psychic or maybe played this game years and years ago. Who knows? Oh, so many years ago. Let's go find this Ernst Blinst guy. Oh yes, and while I usually refrain from doing things off camera, I did some gambling, uh, betting on the red or the black off camera just because there's nothing entertaining about watching me load from a save every time my guy didn't win. But tell you what, how about just once I bet on camera so you can watch these guys go at it. You might make but yeah, he's about to say it. I won't skip it because it's creepy awesome. You might make money if you bet on the red or the black. Alright, which Amen. one? Thank you. Alright. I've got ten strolls and I had four before. Game of chess. Oh, we lost. Oh well. We're heading to find that guy. Anyway, he's in the red light district. In the, uh, whatever this place is here. Vis virtual trips tower. Is that a needle? That's just creepy. Three cup trick player. A large meteorite. That made no sense at all. Hey, Big Mouth, what game are you playing there? Put down one stroll and choose a cup. If you find the eye, you win three strolls. No thanks. I'm busy looking for some guy. And I think he's around here. You got me with your rock. I lost my chest because of you. So you offer virtual trips then? What? Oh, your sandalwood chest is beautiful. It must be heavy, isn't it? Indeed, but it's missing a leg. So, to keep it stable, I use a bluckster nut as a wedge. Did you know it is the hardest nut in the universe? Yeah, but I kind of need that bluckster nut. Oh yeah, th this nut is fascinating. Sell it to me, your price will be mine. If you can find me something as hard as this nut, I'll give it to you free. Alright, we need a replacement nut. Let's try our weather watch. I, I know there's a way to use the dang weather watch. That's how we use the tobe. Oh wait, never mind. I know what I need to do. I forgot something. Or did I? Did I remember it? Mito? There we go. Meteorological, I guess. Ka. Sig. Sto. Blas. Locally, some showers on the administration center, as well as a falling piece of meteorite, is foreseen on the big wind place. This was the latest weather report. Meteorites at the big wig place, huh? Meteorites sound relatively uh, durable. The heck with that big hand that took the rock away? That's what I want to know. Interesting. Now this way is open to us. 
But we need to get to the bigwig place rather quickly. Bigwig! Biggie wiggy. I assume this is the bigwig's place. Where is this? There's no plaque here. Use the weather watch. Yay! We now know where the meteorite's gonna hit. Okay. Now what? We can't look at the cross we drew? What, do we walk away and then come... There we go. A meteorite fragment. Epic. Now we head back. Because that's how we roll. Alright, let's see if we can't trade this rather hard meteor fragment for that Bluxter nut. Bluxter nut. Bluxter nut. Bluxter nut. Blux nut nut blux. Yes, early adventure games were often filled with traipsing across the same area. Skipping directly to an area you've already visited didn't come for quite a while. And in the earliest games it was via magic like a warp spell in Final Fantasy and whatnot. There's a bean meteorite fragment. We now have the Bluxter Nut. Hurrah, Bluxter Nut. That's not good. Is he mad? You mad? Well, you mad? You got me with your rock. I lost my chest. Oh, because now of he's supposed oh, to. Oh, don't say worry. That. It's for a just cause. You'll be blessed by the schnibble. Get closer. For three strolls only, you can go with no risk to a world of healthy and manly violence. Don't wait any longer. Uh, okay, I think I'll wait until it becomes plot relevant. Manly violence sounds scary. All right. I've kind of forgotten where the temple is. Oh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. It's upstairs. Yells upstairs. Well, up elevator. You know what I mean. Let's see. The waterless fountain is. Wait. Passage to the bottom, Bazook Temple. There we go, I got your Bluxter nut, buddy. Now let me in. Hey, you joker! It's not enough to get me the Bluxter nut, it's the pulp I'm interested in. Everybody knows that it is the hardest nut in the universe. You're the hardest nut in the universe. Oh man, we gotta smack this thing open somehow? That's just not right. I don't think there's anything to do here. Oh, if I'd gone up more, I would have seen where to go. I see now. Ugh, he's creepy looking. And he shot our teddy bear. He's a snake. It's him! The madman who murdered my teddy bear! I swear, I'll kill him! Harsh. Alright. Well then. Maybe we should call this number. It is written, 
Watch Miss Cocote's Risque oh, Show on channel Poo Blas Drew. Yeah, we already did that. Hmm. All right, well, we just got to figure out how to get this here nut open. There we go. I don't think he says anything new. I don't see any reason for him to either. He just randomly does this stuff. You know, if anything will open a meteorite, will open a hardest nut on the earth, I bet a falling meteorite would. Kazig Sto Blaz. The landing of a huge meteorite is expected in front of the administration center, while on the tower side of the prison, some clearing will develop with some violent winds reaching 217 kilometers an hour. That was the latest weather report. All right, then. Let's head for the administration building. But first, there's something I know I need to do. And I'm going to save us the trouble of going through another weather report to see it. I'm going to take us downstairs first. Because we need to do something first. Yes. Oh man, walking. My arch nemesis. Oh man, you seriously need to learn to go faster, Woodruff. Seriously. Double seriously. Yes, yes, Street of the Said Bazook, then the Acid Alley. Am I going the long way? I'm not sure. I may well be. Wino Alley, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna probably figure out I took the long path. We are in Wino Alley, and that barrel of tar, because you gotta dump the nut in it. Otherwise, when you try to place it on the point where the meteorite will land, it'll roll away. There we go. Now we're good. Now we're set. Now we're going to open this nut in the most contrived and elaborate manner ever. Waiting for a meteorological... Whoa. Let's... <laughs> That's new. That's very new. How the heck did we scare the guy that much? That's what I want to know. Well, now we've got a new shortcut, anyway. Are we really that scary, Mr. Crocodile Mutant Thing? Well, I guess when you look at that kitty, is pretty freaky. His arms hang down real low, and his nose... Well, look at this guy. Look at this guy here. Our nose is practically normal compared to him. All right, now we use our weather watch. And we will determine where this meteorite will strike. Right in front of the Burker place. Right there, huh? Ow! That wasn't even funny. Jerk face. Jerk water. Whoa. Why is my thing off screen? What horrible game orientating. That's just horrid. Why am I doing this again? Am I expecting a different result? Ah, I guess I, I guess there will be a different result. Nut with tar on impact. Now I just wait, I guess.
unless I have to. Nope, there we go. Nut pulp. Nut pulp! I got the nut pulp. Yay! Yay! Alright, let's go give this sucker his nut pulp. I'll tell you what, how about we'll do that next video? You know, I know people don't like it when I do stuff off camera, but I'm just walking to the temple. Alright, I'll see you soon.